you got to get to the point where it hurts. I got sick and tired of being sick and tired. But I'm not going to cry about it. No, I'm not a part of the country club. Nope, I'm not. I don't hang out with them. But I'm still going to be successful. I'm still going to get to where they are. Why? Because I owe it to myself. And can't nobody stop me but me. You will not destroy us. You will not defeat us to the day I die. It's your mental toughness, your mental strength. We can, we will, and we must get through this. This is what's so sweet about success. That as long as you stay in failure, that like, you know, you get satisfied with that when you actually come over to success. <laughs> it's the same thing. Like, you got to have more and more and more of it. Just like when you're in poverty, you can keep doing it. When you become successful. So I went with the master's degree. Then when I went with the PhD, I just kept, we came out with an album. I wrote three books. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? Now I'm at a point where I'm, I'm, I have this sensational desire for more success. So after I finish with the degree, now I start working out. I'm ready to hit this marathon. Now I got another book coming. Now I'm trying to win the Nobel Peace Prize. Now we're trying to do a reality show. I'm telling you, you would get from the dark side. You get from being a loser, low self-esteem, doubt, and fear that you can find your way on this side, guys. It's sweeter on this side. Many of you have not activated who you are because you don't know what you want. Execution is worship. Execution is worship. Execution is worship. Execution is worship. You get away with a lot of stuff when you start executing. And I'm telling you, if you execute, you're going to be on a whole other level. What do you want? And there are those of you in this room, you are great. You are phenomenal and you're not walking in it. Accept it. And now let's walk in it. The dream is yours, but you're saying I'm not worthy of the dream. You're probably not, but it's been given to you anyway. I really don't know what I want. I am not walking in my greatness. My esteem is not where it should be. I am accepting things that I probably shouldn't accept. And when I leave today, I'm ready to embrace the true me. Listen to me as, as, as you're trying to get to that next level of success, you legitimately have to know what that is if somebody's going to be able to help you out. Listen to what I'm saying. I knew what I wanted. And the first thing some of you in this room have to do, you got to get to the place where you know what you want. And then once you find out what you want, spend the rest of your natural life waking up and going after it. That's what I do. I wake up every single day and I go after what I want. But if you don't know what you want, what are you even waking up for? E.T., why, why am I not fired up? E.T., why am I sleeping in? Because you don't have a reason to get up. You don't have a reason to wake up early in the morning. You don't have a reason to work out. But you better stop making excuses and find a way to win. Because once you start winning, I'm telling you, I can't explain it to you. But doors start opening. Opportunities start happening. But what you cannot do is you cannot quit doing the process. You cannot give up because it ain't what you see. You cannot give up. And when you become a winner, they start seeing you with winners. And so I need you to create a culture of winning and do me a favor. You don't have to win at a whole bunch of stuff. Just win one day at a time. You cannot give up. What you got to do is you heard it. You heard it. Champions keep going when they don't have anything left in their tank. That's the difference between the greats. That's what separates them. When they don't have no more, when it's over, when they're tired, when they're frustrated, when they're ready to give up, when they spent their last dime, that's when they get started. Are you hearing me? It's when you have nothing left. It's when you depleted all your money, when all your energy gone, when you have nothing left. That's when it's showtime. When you find a way out of no way. When you find breath that you don't have. When you find energy that did not exist. When you want this thing as bad as you want to breathe. That's when you find a way. 
I wish I could tell you you tired, go take a break. I wish I could tell you it's going to get easier. I wish I could tell you that if you just keep going, it's going to get lighter. The, the weight is going to get lighter. I wish I could tell you that, but that's not the truth. The truth is you got to find something within. So I need you to do me a favor, guys. I need you to I need you to win. Until you know what you want, you will not you will not get good rest. If you don't know what you want, then you've not begun to live yet. You got to find something within and that's got to push you and that's got to elevate you and that's got to drive you and that's got to move you. And when you find out what your why is and your why got to be deeper than you, when you find your why, you don't hit snooze no more. When you find your why, you find a way to make it happen. There is no excuse for not living up to your fullest potential. No excuse. And I can't explain it, but you better feel me. Winners win and losers lose. I can't explain it any better than that. What changed? I changed and I stopped being a victim. I stopped saying I've got to wait for good things to happen to me. And I said, I'm going to grind. I'm going to fight. I'm going to work. I'm going to press toward. I'm going to learn. I'm going to do everything in my power every single day. I'm going to do everything in my power to become a victor and not a victim. Do not say this is going to be a part of my life because somebody told you it was going to be a part of your life. You need to start rejecting some of the stuff people are telling you. You need to stop embracing it. Just because they said it, it doesn't mean it's true for you. Just because you don't believe, just because you're going to be in poverty, just because your marriage ain't going to work out, just because your kids aren't going to be successful. I'm not owning that. That's not my life. And the reason why I say it's my fault, even when it's not my fault, because when I say it's your fault, I give you power. I give you control over my life. And I will never give another human control over my life. It's my fault. It's my problem. I'm coming up with a solution for it. Can we try? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Some of y'all, you're not even trying. You don't even try to do it. You've given up before you even tried. I'm taking ownership. You get to determine how you live. You live life on your terms. Go again, will your way through it. Some things you can skill yourself through, some stuff you gotta will your way through. And where there is no struggle, there is absolutely no progress. I will. Come on, I will. I will. Come on, I will. I will. I must. I must.